Howdy y'all. You got the bulldog on the channel. It continues. It's becoming a theme with me. I got a 2010 Chevy Colorado. Big deal here. I didn't think it was going to be, but I saw the time and all right. We're doing an exhaust manifold, which the exhaust manifold is actually the catalytic converter, high dollar. I had a heck of a time getting the cover. The cover out of there because the O2 sensor goes through it and that O2 sensor is in there. But oh well, I can get it out after I get it out of the vehicle. But it had a big exhaust leak and the reason for that is actually these bolts are loose. You can see that one. There we go. There we go. Focus. Focus. There we go. So we got to do that, but we also are doing a timing chain to this. Timing chain, gears, phasers, the whole smash. This means we got to do the simple job pulling the valve cover off. Okay. You see all this stuff. I've already been working on this thing an hour to get where I've been. I've got a long time left because see over here, there's a row of bolts all along that side. The intake manifold is hugging right up against it. If it would move an inch, those would come out no problem. But it won't, so you gotta take it all loose. from somewhere down there okay in order to gain access to the side you have to remove the battery and then reach in here there and yonder and fight it because unlike some of the other vehicles the wheel well now you can't see that because you're not allowed You see the red right there that's the vehicle color the the fender in here will come out but it doesn't gain you any access really so there's not much point in taking it out you can't reach up through you can a little bit here's the other issue uh, sorry light back here the other issue is one of the intake manifolds is behind the alternator. You see the alternator? How do you see it? Back in here, there's a bolt. The alternator is in front of it. So you have to pull the alternator, or pull it loose. You gotta pull the battery so that you can pull the intake manifold, so that you can pull a valve cover. This is how jobs that should take 45 minutes become five hours. It doesn't end there. I've got to do a timing chain. The side of the head comes up and usually they have a timing cover underneath that that bolts to the front of the motor this one does not. That that you're looking at right there, that's the head. That's the cylinder head. So, there's a deal there behind the belt, as you can see, that round thing. That is a plug in the front of the head so that you can access the bolts for the guides. The head wraps around the front of the chain. How do you get it out? Well, you put this thing 
up in the air and you pull the oil pan off. Well, I don't have it up in the air yet or I'd show you, but this is a Chevy Colorado. Four wheel drive. So yeah, up in here, you got the oil pan right there. And there that thing is, the front axle, the front differential in the way, going underneath the oil pan. So you got to pull the front differential so that you can pull the oil pan, so that you can pull the timing gears. That's why it costs so much. It's going to be several hundred dollars for this repair and I'm really not going to make much because I'm going to work on this thing for a week. It's, you know, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, who knows, right now and I'll be working on it. I, I need to get the exhaust manifold off so I can go have it surfaced tomorrow and all the parts should be here by middle of the week. So. I will be working, the, the customers are really wanting it back pretty quick. I'll do what I can, you know. But uh, I don't want to rush it because I don't want to make a mistake. There are no small mistakes on timing components. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it all around. Talk to you later.